What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and today I want to talk about smoke. And why I want to talk about smoke? There's a couple of reasons, but the main two reasons is I'm tired of the direction the community is in with Mortal Kombat. It's the nerf era. Nerf this, nerf that, nerf this, nerf that. This character's too strong. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. Enough. Like, I want to see people in the buff era. Let's talk about the characters that still need help because we are almost a year into this game and there's some characters that still need help and they're probably going to get overlooked with the new characters that are coming out. So I want to take this time to talk about one of those characters I believe needs help. And that character is Smoke. I think Smoke is a very delicate character to talk about because as you know if you're in the Mortal Kombat community there are a lot of diehard casual players that don't really understand the game and again this is delicate to talk about but if you play the game at a high or decent level you understand that smoke isn't a good character for obvious reasons and if you don't play the game at a certain level you probably think smoke is broken and I say that because there are a lot of diehard casuals that think smoke is like just top 10 broken and if you don't believe that check some videos with smoke or forms or anything about smoke diehard casuals think this character is broken they just see oh he's got a low and he got an overhead and he got a you know he got invisibility he's broken no he's not smoke is easily one of the worst characters in the game and at best i mean at pure best He's maybe low mid. And I'm gonna talk about why in this video and what he needs help on. I want to break down why he's not really a good character and what he needs help with for the people like who are the diehard casual fans, most likely, that don't understand why this character, not casual fans, the diehard casual players that don't understand why this character is so bad. Now, the character is bad. He kind of reminds me of Takeda not as bad as Takeda. Takeda is the worst in the game. Smoke is reminiscent to Takeda because he's good on paper, but he doesn't have the tools. All the tools have problems in them too. So let's start off with the first thing, this overhead. This overhead is so easy to hit him out of. Like this overhead is really bad. Now the range on it is good, but you can smoothly hit him out of this overhead, no problem, a lot of the times, which makes it useless in a lot of occasions. And that's just one of the tools that are not good. Let's talk about the low. Let's talk about the first two things about him. Now this low would be amazing if it was in any, and I mean any other NRS title, but in this title, we have something called up block. So I'm gonna record smoke to do the same string on me. Up block. The fact that he has no string that is very threatening, that he could just throw out, is a big deal. The fact that he doesn't have a low that he could just throw out. He can't just throw this low overhead out because a good player is gonna up block this or apply the up block mind games on you. And now you can say, well, you can just stagger the low and grab. You shouldn't have to do that on your main pressure tool. And that segues back to his other problem. He doesn't have a good mid. Usually that doesn't matter if you have a very good high or a very good low, which he does not. His high is okay at best. You know, the range is decent. He gets good damage off of it. and. The low, like I just talked about, is not that good because they can just up block the overhead at any time, rendering your low unsafe. So you mean to tell me with a character that can't just mid check you, I can't low check you either? Everything is gonna be, you know, a big brain read when it comes to opening a good player up? That's not good. That's why a lot of people, including myself, don't play this character because he just isn't worth playing. And again, this would be amazing in any other NRS title, but the fact that we have up block in this game 
renders this move useless because if smoke at, at any time smoke has to play around the fact that you are gonna up block which is not good now yeah he can throw out low cancels and yeah he can still get a combo off of this and everything but you're not getting decent damage off of that unless you got a cameo because the low cancel doesn't link into his highest damaging move if he does this right here it doesn't link into anything that's going to get him really good damage that's why a lot of people use scorpion on him because he can cancel into the low like this and still get a stream still get an overhead from him oh actually it's this one right here i think you just do two yeah, so he can still get a combo off of his high, which is another problem he has. Again, got the tools on paper. Got a really fast double. He got a really fast high in the mid that he can do another mid into a low after. But he doesn't get combos off of this high by himself unless he cancels into something early. Another reason Scorpion is good on him. Unless he cancels into something early off of that high, he can't really convert on it on his own into good damage. So, again, all of his tools have nuance to them. Like, yes, the high has good range, but there's a really good, good options off of it. Yes, the low is there. He has a low overhead, but you can up block it. The overhead, you can hit him out of it easily. Every tool almost has a nuance to it that makes it not that strong. And, again, let's talk about another tool that's not that strong, the cancels. The cancels are really good for damage. The damage that this character gets off of the cancels is great you can cancel this and get that one's probably gonna drop because i didn't whip the second kick so do this and whip the second kick on purpose there we go so of course the character gets damaged nobody says he doesn't get damaged and hit it twice in a row to show y'all I can do it. You gotta get the timing down. I do not play this character. But again, he gets damage, of course, off of his tools and everything. But the fact of the matter is damage ain't everything. And I don't know how many characters I can name to prove that damage isn't everything in any game. Tools matters too. Tools matter as well. And when a character is just flooded with damage, like smoke and not a lot of good tools to go around it, you end up with a character that isn't that great. So again, the tools he has, they're just not good on paper. He does not have a singular, a singular. Now, wait, I could be wrong about the standing four into the cancel, but I don't even think that's clear. And I don't know if they changed it with the new patch, but the frame data really doesn't do a good job of showing you what's plus off the cancels. But yeah, if, I remember correctly, besides standing four, he does not have plus cancel, which isn't good. You mean to tell me you're a cancel character who are known for being plus off of cancel? All right, why does Ermac have a better cancel than you? And Ermac was never really a cancel character. And still his cancels aren't plus, but he can at least backdash in his, and they're easier to do he can backdash and do that amazing back two and chew your poke up. Smoke, all he gets is safety off of, not even safety really, I guess kinda. All he gets is damage off his cancels because after every cancel he does, he got a block. It's not his turn. Off of almost any cancel, it's not his turn. So you mean to tell me, of all these tools that I talked about that have caveats to them, you mean even the main thing that would make him Good to be able to be playing around his cancels. Even his cancels have nuance to them. They're not good. Why does he have to cancel in your face <laughs> and block? That doesn't even make sense. Like, why is the character pressuring you and then he has to block? In case you don't know this, at, he's never plus when he cancels. And I need to stop saying never because he might be can plus off the standing. Four, maybe but off of 99% of the cancels he's not plus so if you see smoke do this all you gotta do is down one him down one him out of all of these cancels you don't have to take any cancels they're not scary 
Now, yes, he can choose to let it rock if he thinks you're going to mash, but that's very unsafe, as you see right here, minus 16. So you know what's going to happen when you do that? You let it rock because you think they're going to press the button, you're going to get punished. And he does not mesh with any assists that allow him to stay safe off of this. Hence, his cancel pressure is not scary because you can just poke out of it at any time. So, again, character the character is just not good. He doesn't have good tools. And the last thing to really talk about that this character doesn't have that he really needs is a mid. This character does is the only character in the game without a singular mid start. The only character. That is absolutely ridiculous. A char this character is not good enough to not have a mid. And this right here, everybody always says this should be a mid. I agree. This move being a mid would change his life. He would have the second fastest mid in the game and, and it would completely help him out a lot. Still wouldn't make him really good. It would just make him usable because again, he doesn't get amazing options off of this mid. I mean, well, it's not a mid off of this high. I mean, if he does this right here, he's plus two, but he doesn't really have anything to check you with. I mean, but if this was a mid, he could check you with it. So it could be good, but NRS doesn't really like to, you know, they're really stubborn with their characters. If they have a certain way they design the character, they don't really want to change that. So I don't see them making this a mid, even though it would really help them. But yeah, he just doesn't have a mid. So again, whenever he's in your face, he has to respect you and on his pressure, he has to respect almost everything you do because he doesn't have anything fast enough to check you. So, to again, to explain to the people who don't really understand, just mash on him. Mash on him. He has no way to stop you from mashing for the most part. He has to play around you mashing. If you are having trouble fighting a smoke, mash. Trust me, it will change your life. This character is bad because he doesn't have... The character is not good, and if you think he is, you just don't understand frame data. And to put it simply, if you are having a hard time fighting smoke, you mash on everything he does. You make him have to respect your poke, and when he respects your poke, you start doing what you want. So, now that I've talked about everything that's not really good about this character, let's talk about how they can fix this character. The way that they can fix smoke is give him actual meaningful tools that make him worth playing and either save his kit or alter his kit. So they can go two routes. They can give him a mid off of this. This, make, this being a mid would be great. They can start there and then see what else he needs. But if they wanna do the typical NRS thing and take the stubborn approach and they're like, we don't want to give this character a mid. We designed him without a mid. We want to keep him the way we want to keep him. All right, we'll just make him better at what he does then. This overhead hitbox needs to be changed completely. Like, I don't know what they need to do with it. Like, 28 frames and you're supposed to be a mixed character is ridiculous. This should be like 20 frames, still have the same range, and the hitbox on it needs to be active during out the whole move. He shouldn't be able to get hit out of it. This should be like 20 frames and he needs a double low a double low to complement this low overhead that way if you think they're going to up block you have an option to hit them with it now off the double low if they want to keep it balanced they can make it like sub zeros or takedas to where it doesn't combo without a proper assist i don't think they should do that i feel like he should do something where he like kicks you with the other foot and then you can still cancel and get a combo that would change this character completely so again if they were discrediting giving him a mid at all now we're talking about what they can change on him to make him better the way they designed him give him a double low that would be a great start give him a double low make this overhead faster it should be like 21 22 frames make it faster and give it a follow-up to where he doesn't have to cancel now, keep it fair, it should be like an overhead high follow-up. That way it has mind games to it. Just something he can throw out. 
He doesn't have things he can just throw out. Everything has to be calculated, and that's not worth it on a character that's not that good. So I would say give him an overhead high, so he can just throw out and confirm. Give him a low low that he can confirm off of his smoke, smoke move. And last but definitely not least, give this man some plus cancels. Like, why is he a cancel character without any plus cancels? That's the only three things they need to do to improve the archetype they want him to be. If he doesn't, if y'all don't want to give him a mid RS, okay. But at least make him worth using without a mid. And again, to recap on those three changes, give him a low low that he can hit him from the smoke into. Make the smoke cancels at least some of them plus. Or make them gel into the high at least. The second change. And the third change, fix this overhead. The overhead is not good and it's too slow. Like, that's almost 30 frames. That's a joke. Like, it's actually a joke. Usually when he's hitting you with this overhead, he's hitting you because you're pressing a button. He can chew up the button. But, and this is something I forgot to mention because we're almost done with the video now. But I forgot to talk about the invisibility because this is something that people really overhype in my opinion and let me make something clear about invisibility invisibility is not meta in fighting games it never has been and it never will be so i don't understand why people glorify invisibility it's cool and it could be fun sometimes or whatever but it has never been meta because fighting games are played in an enclosed environment you're always going to have some idea where the person is at this isn't a MOBA, so invisibility is not as scary in fighting games. They're just not. And yes, his invisibility is cool, but you can literally put his invisibility on anyone in this game, and it would not make them better or worse. Simple as that. Even a reptile. Like, this invisibility is not all that. Like, it's cool, but the fact of the matter is, if you ask a real smoke player that plays this game at a high level, if... They gave him all the changes that I recommended for him, but just take the invisibility away. They would take it. They would take the deal because the invisibility is whatever. Because the fact of the matter is, if you have a good character that can open you up, let's talk about Homelander right now. If Homelander is in your face right here, you're guessing that oh or low, you're guessing that low or overhead, whether he's invisible or not. You don't have a choice. It doesn't matter if the character is invisible. You're guessing if Homelander is going to hit you with a lower overhead right here. So setting up invisibility a lot of times is useless because it doesn't matter if they got a guess. They got a guess whether you're invisible or not. So that's just something I wanted to talk about because I really feel like people glorify invisibility like it's just so cracked, but it really doesn't do that much. If anything, it just makes you panic when you really shouldn't. Shouldn't panic you should start fuzzy garden and just go from there just don't panic but yep those are my recommended changes for smoke let me know what you think about the video below and what changes would you implement to smoke and again i'm not trying to offend anybody by saying if you think smoke is good you're just not really that good of a player but it's honestly true i always keep it real this character is not really good but to a very casual player he probably looks amazing but he's really not he needs help and hopefully it's not too late because with the stigma placed on this character where people actually think he's really good but he's not hopefully this character just doesn't go the whole game's life cycle without ever getting touched even though he needs it Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join the Discord. I'm saying that very blatantly at the end of the videos now because I'm revamping the Discord. Nick Ops out.